the greatest man I have ever met. His heart is made of pure gold. He saved me in so many ways and changed my world. Yes, um, he gave he gave me a lot of gifts in in my life. A gift of um, of compassion and showing my son how to pay it forward. But above that, if this man becomes president of the United States of America, he is going to give me the best gift ever, and that is, I'll know that. When I leave this world, I won't be here to watch my son grow. But I'll know that he is going to grow up in a country that is safe. Welcome back to the special edition of Hannity. That was former Miss Wisconsin, Melissa Young. That was back in April, giving a very heartfelt endorsement to Donald Trump as she fights for her life. And while Hillary Clinton and her liberal cohorts are trying to paint Donald Trump as sexist, my next guest say that couldn't be further from the truth. Joining us now to explain, former Trump International Vice President Sonata Adzum is with us, former Miss California, USA, Carrie Prejean Bowler, and the woman you just heard from, former Miss Wisconsin, Melissa Young. Melissa, um... You're really fighting for your life even still. I, I had the honor of meeting you myself. Um, yes, sir. Tell, tell us the story about you and, and Donald Trump and your health. Yes, sir. Uh, you're correct. I am I'm fighting for, for each and every day. And what happened was I stood on his stage when he owned the Miss Universe organization. I competed in the Miss USA pageant in 2005. Many years later... I, I became ill, and um, really in those darkest days of being sick in the hospital, and, and I have never told him this personally, but that morning the priest had come and read me my, my rat last rites, and that day an envelope was delivered to my room that said, must be delivered by 8 a.m. It was handwritten by Mr. Trump, and when it was opened it was a letter saying, to the bravest woman I know, and he wanted me to keep fighting. And in that moment, it sparked something in me that I realized that my, my purpose is, is, is to fight, and I need to get up and fight. And he, he really sparked and such you, uh, a, a wonderful... Yeah, you have an eight-year-old yes, boy, and your illness, your doctor says... I do. You're fighting literally every day for your life. You don't know, well, what is the prognosis that they're telling right. you? Correct. There is no, no cure for me. My heart is now in the condition of a 90-year-old woman. And since the message is coming from my brain, the part of my brain that controls my autonomic nervous system, which is all of our automatic functions that we don't think about, like heart rate, blood pressure, all of those things, di yeah. digestion, which um, explains the tube I have here, um, that part of my brain shut off like a light switch and there is no way to manipulate the brain to tell it to turn back on. So I cannot get a new heart because it will send the same message to a new heart. So I wow. have um, a heart in the condition of a 90-year-old woman and I am, I'm fighting each day and I just had a blood clot removed less than 48 hours ago from my chest and I'm, I'm here today because until my last breath I... I will use this voice to speak up, to talk about who Mr. Trump really is. It is so important that, that this side of the story is told. He's to the you, most Carrie. wonderful man I have ever met. Well, it's a pretty deep story, and you're in our thoughts and prayers, by the way, Melissa. Thank you for, uh, for coming on. Thank you so much, Sean. Carrie, Thank um, you for having me. when you were under fire, and you were under heavy fire, I remember you at one point told me there was only two people in your whole, in, in your universe that stood up for you as the world turned against you, and one of them was Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good to be with you, Sean. Thank you so much for having me on, and I just think Melissa's story, I mean, she's just such a woman of courage. She truly is, is amazing, and her bravery is so inspiring. So thank you, Melissa. Wow. Um, yeah, to answer your question, Sean, thank yes, you, uh, Donald Trump was one of the only people that stood up for me and defended me. And I am so tired of the nonsense and the attacks against him. I mean, they are so desperate, Sean, that they are going to go at all lengths to try to destroy this man. This is a smear campaign to try and distract people from the real issues. And Donald Trump, this is the type of man that he is. Listen to Melissa, listen to her story. And listen to my story. He defended me. He stood up for me. He took every single one of my phone calls. 
He did not have to do that. This is a businessman who's running multiple businesses. He took every single one of and my. He actually personal... defended Alicia Machado, by the way, and, and you know right, beyond exactly. the, the quote, right. he actually said it's a very tough yes. position. And we right. were talking and about he... beauty contests here too. This is not right. Yeah. Let's put it into context here, Sean. I mean, let's let's not forget. This is a beauty contest. This is a contest that Amen. Is, that hypes up, you know, how women look, and and you know, part of it is walking on stage in a bikini. And God forbid, you know, some women might need to shed a few pounds, and some women might need to gain a few and pounds. My, my so, doctor I mean, called me fat a couple of years ago, so I started working out, and I lost some weight. Uh, uh, I just, mean, it's just sad that we're talking about this. And Sean, it's just in in twenty years, Sean, you should come forward and say something about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I should. I'm gonna yell at my. I'm right. gonna call him out on national TV. Sonata, you're there in a you different go. position because you work for Donald Trump, and you worked on his biggest projects. One of your vice president, um, and you hear these attacks. What do you say to people? Because you know him. Well, first and foremost, I want to say to people to listen to amazing inspiring women like Melissa and um, I, I can relate I faced that many times and uh, she is truly not just a beautiful woman inside and out but she is such an impactful inspiring woman um, based on my experience I worked at Trump International from 2003 until 2007 I can tell you that he's a very tough businessman but he's very fair he gave women the same opportunities that he gave to men and you had to prove yourself you had to work really really hard and and Carrie when you compare how Hillary and her husband treat women and the media doesn't cover it and you know I'm gonna crucify Jennifer Flowers and about Monica Lewinsky a narcissistic Looney Tune that never gets covered by the media does it and not only that right, the allegations right, of Kathleen Willie and Juanita and Paula Jones etc right right and let's not forget she spent over a hundred thousand dollars bullying these women who didn't deserve it so if she's such a you know advocate of women and their rights and supporting women why was she tearing these women down she should have been building them up and believing their story like she says we all should yeah all right guys i want to uh thank you all for sharing thank your you. stories it gives something the media won't do thank and it's given you. another side of the story but and melissa you especially yes. uh and all of you you're in our thoughts and prayers thank you and we wish you the very best every day thank and the best so to your much. son also thank you and coming up we have